I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So this is an old web app that I created and I was able to auto generate thousands of articles about all these different keywords using a free tool that I built that I'm going to show you in this video. And all of these articles were able to get me hundreds of thousands of visitors within just a few months. So in this video, I'm going to start with a story. I'm going to show you some stats. I'm going to show you the tool that I built that allows you to do something like this. And then I'm going to show how you can get it for free. All right, let's get this going. This is a fun one. This is contentblock.ai. This is a web app that I created eight to 10 months ago. I no longer own it. I actually sold it on Flippa. But the traffic strategy that I use for this website is the focus of this story. So you don't have to go to it. I don't own it anymore. This is similar web. I don't have access to the Google search console anymore for this because it was sold. So I want to find a way to see if it's still getting website traffic. And it looks like it is. Over the past three months, it got over 18,000 visits. And this is pretty cool because all of these visits stem from the thousands of articles that I created on that website using AI. So this is proof that this strategy does work. I can't guarantee this works anymore because this was, like I said, eight to 10 months ago. But the point is you can get traffic using AI articles, and especially if you do it at scale. And I think there's a little bit of luck involved. So let's go through exactly what I did. It all started with me running a Google ads campaign for this web app. So this is the old campaign. I'm gonna click into it. I'm gonna go to my ad group. And there was a new feature at the time that was rolling out in Google ads. And it was an update to their broad match keyword type. Basically, you would start with a keyword, one with a lot of volume, and the Google ads algorithm would show your ad on all similar and related keywords that it could come up with to see which one performed the best and then start showing more ads to those high performing keywords. So I started with a few keywords like AI writer, AI writing generator, AI writing software. I put them all as broad match because content block was an AI writer. So three keywords that really fit with my web app and then Google ads start showing impressions for all of these different keywords. I would have never came up with these myself. Look, AI write story, best AI content writer, using AI to write articles, the list goes on and on and on. So after about two weeks of running this ad, I was able to collect a pretty big list of keywords that a really powerful AI algorithm was able to find that fit my website. So I went over here, I clicked download, and I downloaded all these keywords in a CSV. So that's the way I recommend doing it, but there's also a free way, which works without you spending any money. So in your Google Ads dashboard, you're gonna to go to the menu on the left here and click Tools. We're gonna to go to Planning and then Keyword Planner. Then we're gonna discover new keywords and we're gonna type a few keywords that work with our type of website. To continue with this example, I'm just gonna go AI Writer, maybe AI Content Generator, and then AI image generator. Instead of Canada, I can make this the whole world and then click get results. Now the Google Ads Keyword Planner is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna show you all of these keywords that are similar to the ones that you inputted. And with our strategy, we don't really care about the competition. We don't care about the bid range. All we care about is getting relevant keywords that we can auto generate articles with using GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, ChatGPT, images with Dolly 3. We just need the keywords. And look at this, I probably have thousands on this page that I can go to the top right here and click download and download as a CSV. Now I've opened up that file in the Google Sheets. Let's clean this up a bit. And we don't need any of these columns, we just need the keywords. And here we go. Looks like we have one, oh this is perfect. We have 3,058 related keywords for our website, which in the end is gonna be 3,058 AI articles generated for each of these keywords. I actually think the keyword planner might be a better idea, so I recommend this. Okay, now we've cleaned up our sheet. We have all this keyword data in a column, but now we need to export this data with all these keywords separated by a comma. 
I'll tell you why that is in a second, but we're gonna to go to this column B in the first cell and we're gonna do this formula. And the formula is equals text join. We're joining all of this text with a comma and then comma true, comma, and then I selected all of column A. Now I can select this cell, hit copy, open up a brand new notepad and paste it in. And there we go, here's all of our keyword data separated by a comma. Now it's time to open up Bubble. Here's the free auto blogger bubble template that I built for you guys. It's gonna allow you to create thousands of articles automatically using GPT-4. And if you didn't see a previous video, I'm gonna quick walk through what this auto blogger template contains. So first is the home page, and it looks like this. Here's gonna show your latest post. This is gonna show a list of all your articles. I have nothing right now, but we're gonna come back to this once we generated some articles. Next is the actual article page. It looks pretty empty now because there's no article on it, but just hang tight. We'll see how it looks when it's done in a second. And then we have the page where all the magic happens. That's the auto blogger page. This is where we'll enter our keyword list and then have the AI auto generate posts for us. Once you activate this template in a new bubble app, there's some housekeeping that you need to do to get it started. First, you need to add your own OpenAI API key. So go to platform.openai.com and in the left bar, you're gonna hover over and select API keys. Then you're gonna create a new secret key. Let's call this auto blogger. Click create secret key. We're gonna click this, copy it to your clipboard, go back to bubble, go to the plugins tab, API connector. We're gonna expand this API call and we're gonna add the secret key in this section. Make sure you keep bearer space. Okay, so it looks like this, bearer space, and then you paste it in your API key. Now this will allow you to generate articles using GPT-4 and DALI-3. When the generate post button is clicked, it's gonna start a workflow, specifically a backend workflow called Autoblogger. And in this backend workflow, you're gonna make an API call to GPT-4, and the API call is write a short and simple title for an article about, and it's gonna start going through each of the keywords that you found in your Google Keywords Planner. So in this example, I have almost 3,000. It's gonna create a title for each of those 3,000 keywords. The next API call, it's gonna write an SEO optimized article about that keyword title. And because Bubble uses BB code as its formatting, the output's gonna be in BB code so it looks good on your website. The next API call, it's gonna generate an image with DALI 3, and the image is gonna be based on whatever your article title is. So if it's a title about AI writers, it's probably gonna generate an image of a robot typing on a keyword or something that's kind of relevant. This step creates a new blog article. This step sets the slug, the URL, as your keyword. So if your keyword's AI writer, your URL is gonna be set as website.com, whatever your website name is, slash B, that's the subdirectory where we host the articles, and then slash AI writer. And this is good for SEO, when your URL is exactly the keyword that you're targeting. And then this last step, it schedules this workflow all over again for each of the keywords that you've inputted. And if you have 50, it's gonna run it 50 times. If you have 100, it's gonna run 100 times, etc. Back on the article page, the article title is gonna go here. There's some share buttons and how long it's gonna take the reader to read it. This is the post image that was generated with DALI 3. This is the article content. And then you have some related blog posts in the bottom that help with hyperlinking between each page. Then the metadata is all set up. Your title for SEO purposes will be the current page's post title, that article title, and then the description for SEO purposes is the meta description that we're automatically generating using GPT-4. All right, let's test this out. Let's go to my notepad and let's grab a few keywords here. Here, I'll grab these few, paste it in, and now we got one, two, three, four. Let's do one more. We have five articles that we're gonna generate based on those keywords. We got AI content creator, AI writing essay generator, best content writing AI, AI that makes art from words, and WordTune AI writing. I think WordTune might be a competitor. And then we're gonna hit generate posts. 
Now we got a pop-up that says your articles are being written by the AI. Please check back later to see the results. And if I stay on this page, I'll see the articles start generating at the bottom, but this is all working in the back end. You can go away, you can close this page, you can come back. And I'm gonna pause this video now and I'm gonna resume when all the articles have been generated. Okay, so it's finished generating all of our articles. Here are the five. We can click into any of the articles and change the details generated by AI. If you wanna change the title, the image generated by Dolly3, the metadata, here's the content, here's the meta description, and the most important part, the slug in that URL is that keyword. When you're done, hit save changes. Now we can go to the blog homepage. I'm gonna hit preview. And this is how it looks with our AI generated articles. And here's the blog post page. And once this website's published, hopefully this article will get indexed by Google and we can get some traffic to our website for the keyword AI writing essay generator. At the bottom of the page are the related blog posts. So what I was gonna show earlier, and a user reading this page can click in and view another article. So it hyperlinks within your website. Again, this is a free template that you can install for a new Bubble app. As of the making of this video, I'm still waiting on Bubble to approve this template in the marketplace. So if you want this free template, please write a comment for the video below saying that you want it. This will be the quickest and easiest way for me to directly contact you when the template is finally live on the marketplace. Only do this if you haven't wrote a comment for my previous video about this same template. I'm keeping track of everybody who's commented and once it's released, I'll be sending out all the links. A few things to note first, in order for this template to work, it needs to be on the starter plan. Bubble gives you a free 14 day trial so you can actually use those 14 days to generate thousands of articles, have them all ready to go before you publish it live to your website. Second, I found that a WordPad works better than a notepad for pasting in all of the keywords. The notepad was kind of glitching, so maybe copy and paste from a Google Sheet into a WordPad. Next, the reason we're doing this is you never know which keyword is gonna generate traffic for you. If we create articles at scale with AI, we just need a few of these to hit in order to get a large consistent amount of traffic to our website. We don't have to look at the competition for each of these keywords. All we have to do is just generate a ton of articles on each of these keywords. When I did it, it was the weirdest ones that hit. Google would suddenly index and then shoot my article to the top of the search results for some weird ones. Maybe something like AI vector art generator, a keyword that I would have never targeted personally if I didn't create an article with it at scale. Now, of course, you're not gonna rank for the most competitive keywords, like scrolling up, AI writer is the biggest one in this list. A bad AI generated article is probably not gonna rank for that keyword, but a longer key phrase like AI image generator from text might. It's important to note that I also started generating backlinks. I searched up a list of all the websites that I could post a link back to my web app for free. And I started just spamming my URL out. So that also could have contributed to why some of these articles started to rank. I've had some people writing comments that these articles are garbage. You know, they're just generated by AI and that's the truth. But the point of this strategy is we want to hit gold with some of those low hanging fruit keywords. And the easiest way to do that is by generating content with AI. Eventually, if someone wants to overtake you on that keyword, they're gonna write a better article and that's fine. The last thing I wanna say is, this is for my old web app. At the bottom of each article, I created a link that goes back to my homepage. My homepage is what I actually tried on. Everything was done manual there. And the point of this was to get people to eventually sign up for my app. So if I had an affiliate website, I'd create an affiliate link down here. If I had a Shopify store, I'd create a product link. There are many things that you can do with this to start getting traffic and hopefully start making money. Okay, I hope this video was interesting. It was cool to see this strategy actually work for a past web app. The reason why I'm sharing it now and I've only shared this with a couple private people in my real life, is that I've moved on to something else. 
So I'm happy giving away this for free. I can't promise that this works, but for all you trailblazers that want to experiment with something new, maybe your website's not getting the traffic it deserves, give a shot to the autoblogger. I built this for you guys completely for free. Hopefully this template gets released soon. This is proof that I'm still waiting on it to be released, but it should be any hour now. I'll be adding some new features to the autoblogger template in a future video. I'm thinking a couple drop down boxes that allow you to select GPT 3.5 Turbo or Dolly 2 so that you can save on costs with your API calls. We went through it in a previous video and it is pretty expensive. But yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys can build with this. That's it for now. Peace.